Hello, in the last video we learned that when two identical waves travel in opposite directions superposed, a standing wave is formed. But how often does a wave meet an identical wave? Same frequency, same wavelength, same amplitude? Very often actually. Let me give you a clue. When was the last time you meet an identical you? Yep, that's right. Reflections. Waves undergo reflections. So, there are actually two types of reflection. When a wave encounters a fixed end, it reflects with a phase change of 180 degrees, like this one here. So you see a positive pulse, reflects and becomes a negative pulse. It flips around. Yeah, when it flips it around, we say that there's a phase change of 180 degrees. But over on this side, when this pulse meets a loose end, it reflects but without any phase change. So you see that positive pulse, it travels rightward, hits the loose end, it reflects but there's no flipping. A positive pulse is reflected as a positive pulse. So we say that there's no phase change in such a reflection. Okay, look here. So the red is the incident wave. When it hits the fixed end, it reflects as the blue wave. So we have two identical waves moving in opposite direction and superposed, what do we get? The standing wave in black. So notice that the standing wave that's formed here has a node at the end. So you might say, oh, of course, because it's a fixed end, right? So we can only have a node there. That's true. But what about we think in terms of the incident and reflected waves? So because it's a fixed end, when the incident wave reflects, it reflects with a phase change of 180 degrees. It flips around. So you see the incident and reflected waves always have opposite displacements. Always opposite displacement. That's why they will always superpose to give you zero. That's why the fixed end is a node. So now look again. So again, we have an incident wave. It's going to hit a loose end this time. So the red and the blue are the incident and reflected waves that are identical to each other, just that they're moving in opposite directions. So they superpose to become the standing wave in black. Yeah. But notice this time around, uh, what we have at the end is an anti node, not a node. So you must say, oh, of course, ma, because it's a loose end, right? Loose end must be an anti node. Yeah, that's correct. But we can also think in terms of the incident and reflected waves. So you see, because uh, it's a loose end, when a wave reflects, it reflects without any phase change. So the incident and the reflected wave always have the same displacement in the same direction. So when it's superposed, you always get doubled the displacement. And that's why uh, at the loose end, it's always an anti node that's formed. So in this video, you have learned a few things. So the easiest way to form a standing wave is to let a wave reflect and superpose with itself. And depending on whether it's a loose end or fixed end, what is formed at that end will be an anti-node or node. Alright, that's all. Ta-ta!